You ain't offer me shit. Nothing. No type of money. Not even like nothing was offered. That's what made me even more. Because I'm sitting there like, you're not even going to apologize. You're not even going to offer no cheese. And I could have said, oh, some random person hit me, but you hit me. So I could just tell, hey, just whatever it is, just pay it. That's what I would have done. If I would have hit somebody's car that I know, especially when it's new, and you you just silent, and then almost two hours later, you, you going to hit me up saying, I don't think I apologize. I'm sorry. I know I know you're angry, but I don't remember if I apologize or not. I'm sorry. And I was like, bro, you bugging. Most of y'all didn't know I got rear-ended yesterday. I had modeled who I would consider a friend, right? And I'm not even gonna show y'all in this video because it's just gonna irritate me more. But <clears throat> that shit was crazy. Like, mind you, she don't got an L's. She driving her mama car. And it's fine and dandy who, whose car you driving. You ain't even got no L, so off top, there's some knowledge. So, we're coming from the second location. Because the first location was at Cannery, then the second location was at Weeks Park. And so we're heading to Pepsi, to Pepsi Fields, to do the third outfit, third photo shoot. And we're going there and I decided to go down West Ten Tennyson to like beat traffic and then come up by Costco and then just make that right so well for everybody that went to impact y'all remember that taco truck used to be like you came out of uh, impact you made a right and it'd be in that parking lot over there so we're over there at that light at the end of West Tennyson just sitting there at a red light and I'm just looking at the light and looking at everybody then my car just boom. And I'm like, no way. Did, like, did you really fuck it? Because she's behind me. She's following me. And I'm going to say fucking Maricela, Malia, all that. Like, bro, the way you handled that, bro, nah, I, I, ain't, I ain't keeping the incognito, none of that. So, she hit me. And I get out of my car. I'm like, you did not just fucking hit me. You did not just hit me. And then I see all the other cars people rolled down their windows like, oh, shit, bruh, she hit you, bruh. Like, come, just making it worse. And I'm like, hold on, I got to type in. Because I'm going to the Caliber Collision place today so they can look at my car. All right. So I get out of my car, and I'm like, bro, you did not just hit me right now. Like, I got this car July 1st, and it is September 2nd. No, September 8th, the end of, yeah. The end of my weight loss, and two days away from the uh, free photo shoots that I was giving out for a month. That shit is cooked, bro. I ain't doing none of that. So, sorry, I'm going back and forth, but. I get out of, uh, I get out of the car, I'm looking at my car, and I'm like, mind you, I have a white charger. V6 with racing stripes on it. And then I'm looking at my car and I'm like, bro, you did not just bend up my license plate and broke my uh, RBG Pan-African bracket I had around it and dented my trunk, <laughs> scratched up my white paint. That shit's black right there. The, the lip of the trunk smeared black. Like, and all she's saying is, I'm going to call my mom to get the information. I'm going to call my mom to get the, get the information. So I'm like, all right, let's pull over. And I go over to look more. I'm I'm livid, bro. I'm, I'm trying to keep my cool, but I'm hot. And I know she can feel that energy. I'm hot, bro. I, I, I ain't fucking with it. So, hold on. Let me put this shit down. 
So then as we pull over, I'm like, let's look, follow me over here. And I drive to the side of Impact where we used to drive to go into the uh, student parking lot. So then we drive over there and I pull up and I'm just looking at my car. And then I'm taking pictures of her car, her license plate on her mama car, all bent up. Like, bro, you don't even have an L's and you causing all this damage, bro. If I'd have known that, I would have told you, hey, like, I'll pick you up from Bart, something. And I'm just like, mind you, this whole time, no apology, no nothing. Oh, I left my light on. So I'm just sitting on the floor. I'm looking up information on my phone. And then she keeps saying, my mom said, I got to get your information. I need your driver's license. I'm like, yeah, I'll give it to you once you get your mama shit. Like, the fuck is you talking about? Why would I just give you my information off rip? And you ain't even got nothing. You ain't got no L's. All you got is an identification card. So I got to wait for Mom Dukes to send her that shit. And I'm just sitting there. I'm just waiting because I'm going to keep it lit. If we're supposed to be cool, like, I could have kept it lit and said, you know what? Or if you would have offered me the bread, like, immediately, like, however much it is, I'm going to pay it. Like, here's 100, here's 200. You can even offer me, like, <laughs> it's goofy as fuck. You could have offered me head, no head, no bread. You ain't offer me shit. Nothing. No type of money. Not even, like, nothing was offered. That's what made me even more. Because I'm sitting there, like, you're not even going to apologize. You're not even going to offer no cheese. And I could have said, oh, some random person hit me, but you hit me. So... I can just tell, hey, just whatever it is, just pay it. That's what I would have done. If I would have hit somebody's car that I know, especially when it's new, and you you just silent, and then almost two hours later, you, you going to hit me up saying, I don't think I apologize. I'm sorry. I know, I know you're angry, but I don't remember if I apologize, and I'm sorry. And I was like, bro, you bugging. Like, I try to keep it respect, but you, you stupid as fuck. You fucking hit my car, dog. It, you ain't even offer to fix it. Offer it here. Let me give you 200 right now. No nothing, bro. And now I got to fucking go to the uh, caliber place. If my insurance spikes, bro, that's out my pocket. This car is in my name. Not my mother's name. Not my father's name. None of my fucking parents. This is in my name. My fucking car. So whatever boost, I got to pay that shit. Whatever fucking deductible. You could have offered, hey, whatever the deductible is, I got you. Something. You ain't offering me shit. And I don't even got my mic plugged in. That's how I know I'm fucking hot. Don't. Bro, people are stupid. So yeah, bro. This shit got me spicy right now. I, I even called out. I'm like, bro, I'm not in the mood, dog. I, I can't be at work. I got to go. I got to go get this checked out. And now it's going to come out of my pocket, not my parents' pocket. And you, like, what, what lesson am I going to learn from this? Not to give nobody the benefit of the doubt. Like, you ain't offering me no bread or nothing. And yeah, this shit's fixable. You know, I'm thankful my car's still drivable. But you fucked up. You know you fucked up, right? You said at 7 o'clock, you went to the liquor store, and then you left the bottle that, y'all yeah, don't know what movie that's from. But you fucked up. Maricela, you fucked up. Malio, you fucked up. And now I got to come out of pocket. You not even coming. That's the cold part. Your mama finna have to come out of pocket. It's fucked up, man. Had this car for two months. And it's fixable shit. I probably had to plunge my goddamn trunk to get it to pop back out. But them scratches, that's paint. That's paint from your big ass front bumper on that Chevrolet Equinox. I should have known it was trouble when I seen you driving Equinox. So yeah, this is this is the end of me ranting. I'm on the way to uh, San Leandro caliber collision. And it's mad traffic right now too. Like, bro. And I got to use my annual leave today because, yeah, 
I ain't, I ain't, I gotta get this fixed. So yeah, I'm gonna holla at y'all. Oh, man, you fucked up. Man, this when you good to bike, bro. I don't be dogging nobody property. <laughs> no, I know I'm rambling, but dog, I ain't never fucking nobody's property. And all of my cars have been keyed. My bitches. Yeah, I said it. Dumb hoe from Stockton keyed my car. This last bitch, I don't know where she from, but she from the Bay Area, keyed my goddamn car. And yeah. Okay, look. Look, I almost got a whole nother accident. Like, bro, people ain't paying attention. And that's the thing, I left that out. She told me she was, something dropped, and she went down to look for it, thought the light, thought the light was green, and sped, and fucking barebacked my car. That excuse, let alone, oh, oh, I was gone. I was hot. I was heated. I was a spicy tamale. Yeah, bro. Bum ass excuse for bum ass actions. Like, come on. You gotta do better, man. I don't hate you. I don't fuck with you, though. It's like I said about the old bitch that hit my car last time, suck my dick. Especially me coming out of pocket. Well, luckily, that accident, I got money. This one, I got to spend the brand. I ain't coming up. Scratch my whole car, dented my head, bro. Thank y'all for listening to this brand. I'm gone.